All right, so this is a classic calc problem here, and the trick to this a lot of times is you have to recognize, you have to like be smarter than the problem. Do you see up here? Do you see a, per, a difference of perfect squares right here? And do you remember when you had a squared minus b squared, how does that factor? A plus b times a minus b. Remember that trick? Mm -hmm. So this is really equal to the limit, the limit as x goes to 0 of, I'm going to set up two things. This is x plus 4 minus 4, or sorry, plus 4, that's this one and x plus 4 minus 4 all over x and what happens when you do that? that becomes just x right there so now, I, now what I have is x plus 8 times x all over x and what's the limit as x goes to 0 of that? well the x's cancel so it's just the limit as x goes to 0 of x plus 8 which is just Eight. Eight. So a lot of times you have to, when you see that, be like, oh, wait a minute, that looks really familiar. And it was familiar.